by world news. Nuclear standoff involving North Korea. Yeah, North Korea and South Korea have now agreed to sit down and talk next week in advance of the upcoming Olympic Games, which will take place in the South. And ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raditz, is in South Korea for us this morning. Martha, good morning. Good morning, Dan and Paula. Here in Seoul, there is relief that the two sides will be talking again, but there remains deep concern about what happens next. The talks will happen here, in the so-called truce village of Panmunjom, where North and South Korean soldiers stand just feet apart on this heavily fortified border. The armistice that suspended the Korean War was signed here in 1953. The topic this time, the North's participation in Olympic Games. It may sound unimportant, but the talks come at a time of incredible tension. The North near perfecting a nuclear weapon that could potentially reach the U.S. Kim Jong-un claiming he has a nuclear button ready to go on his desk. President Trump responding with a schoolyard taunt, tweeting that his is bigger. I think the rhetoric that North Korea understands is, while it is our objective to achieve a denuclearization through diplomatic efforts, those diplomatic efforts are backed by a strong military option if necessary. And the show of U.S. military might on the peninsula has been nearly constant. But during the Olympics, the U.S. has agreed to halt military exercises. But what comes after these talks between the North and South is still very much in question. The U.S. saying they will not sit down with the North unless it accepts denuclearization. And the North saying that will never happen. For now, all eyes are on Tuesday. If there is progress made in the talks, there is hope that they will expand. But either way, this nuclear crisis is far from over.